The no load tap changer works by adjusting the portion of the primary winding that's connected. This changes the ratio of the transformer and automatically alters the voltage that appears on the secondary winding. We only want to alter the secondary voltage by a small amount, either 5% or 10%, so we only need to change a small portion of the primary winding. Let's now zoom in on this small portion to see how the tap changer works. Here's a typical offload tap changer. As you can see, at the moment, we're on tap 1. On tap 1, we can see that the full primary winding is connected. To operate the tap changer, we firstly disconnect the load, then move the tap changer around to position 2 and reconnect the load. On position 2, we can see that a portion of the primary winding has been disconnected and the secondary voltage therefore increases. Let's move to position 3 now. And again, we reduce the portion of the primary winding that's connected. Again, the secondary voltage increases. To position 4 now. And finally, position 5. When we get to position 5, there's a physical barrier to stop the tap changer being moved any further. Let's now go in the opposite direction. Tap 4. Tap 3. Tap 2. And finally back to tap 1. With the secondary voltage reducing after each tap. The majority of transformers provided on the distribution network are off load tap changers, which tend to be set at a fixed tap for most of their working lives. Over time, if a section of the distribution network is becoming overloaded due to the types of load changing or more customers being added, it may be required to increase the system voltage slightly to compensate for the strains on the network. All of the transformers feeding that part of the network will then be taken offline one by one and have their tap changers moved up a tap before being reconnected to the network. 